Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Poké Resort. Unfortunately, last episode we lost another member to our team, and that was Gumi. And I don't know. I thought it, I thought it could have handled the hit, but clearly it didn't. And we're, we had to switch out our team members. So what I did was I brought back a Golist Pod, and I brought it back uh, because it's actually pretty strong and it's also super fast. So I mean, it's got over a hundred speed already. Uh, if I can check its stats somehow. Um, how do I check its stats? Oh, nope, tap that. Oh, it's on the... T I'm, I'm stupid. I'm looking literally right at it. Where it's got... Uh, where's the speed? No, it's speed. Never mind. It's defense is ridiculous. That's why I wanted it. Where um, at least we can start to uh, maybe bring it out where we're not too worried about it fainting. Where it still has a good attack. Where it's got 95 attack, 111 defense. So we'll try to use that wisely uh, going forward. So that's the switch that I had. Um, and that's about all I really did. And so let's go ahead and make it to the next part of the playthrough. So let's go and I think we just need to go straight. I think is this where we get to talk to Oak? I'm pretty sure this is where we talk to Oak, right? And oh I I remember this area, but I don't remember what all goes on in it. It's been a while. I've heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Molly Garden. I'll search. I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why don't you start going around the edge of the garden? Okay, well, we will be able to uh, do a wonder trade immediately once we go into the uh, grass. And you're you looking at the statue, really? Okay. Uh, okay, can't go through there. Let's go through. Here we go. Okay, something good. Well, uh, what, am I, what am I saying? I don't need to say it yet. Unless if it's a shiny, I'm keeping the shiny. So I guess that would be like the best thing I could possibly get. Okay, so we got it. We got our Gyarados all healed up. Intimidate, that'll make things a little bit easier. But overall, we're just oh, okay. So never mind. You got the same thing. Just kidding. Okay, let's go straight for the. Where is it? Where's the quick ball? There it is. Gonna go use our favorite, our favorite Pokeball. And one, and two, and three, and four. This thing is so broken, but I absolutely love it. This thing is like almost as good as a Master Ball. This thing is just on point. Favorite favorite ball by far. <laughs> okay, so now we're good there. Uh, psych up. Uh, who's that with? Um... User hypnotizes itself into copying any stat change made by the target. Um, suppresses the target and makes its move go last. Uh, we could always. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just let's go for this. It's. It's whatever. I mean, we can always match its moves or something. I don't. I don't know. It's it's not that big of a deal. I'm. I liked passing me a lot more. So I mean, I don't know as much about this guy to be honest. So I'll. I'll just. I, I'd have to look it up to see what its uh, best move set is and see if we can even get to that by the end of this playthrough. Uh, its wings and antenna don't cope with, well with uh, moisture. After a rain, it faces onwards or sunwards towards. I, don't, I missed that. I totally missed that. Uh, we'll just go straight to the box and we can go ahead and do another wonder trade. Or trade here we go here we go i'm excited i don't know about you but i'm happy to get another new pokemon and hopefully i won't kill him that's always the goal hasn't really been uh that successful as of late uh yeah i don't know we'll we'll see what we can do as far as um making sure pokemon don't die another annoying thing is like pretty much everyone does like these wonder trades when they're doing breeding and everything like that so we're always getting pokemon level one so that's a little bit frustrating as well where we're not getting anything like too crazy where it's all okay well it's it's got good stats but at the same time it's at level one so we have to work its way up to the point where all of our other pokemon are at and the problem with that is is when we get further into the game uh the level ones get further and further away from our pokemon's levels so it's just oh I gotta move that Gumi, but oh I'll I'll do that another time. Um, but yeah, that's just it's it just gets kind of frustrating always needing to do that. So it's like, uh, uh. 
the further it goes. Because once our guys are in like the 40s, it's like, oh, we got a guy level one. That's going to take forever to keep up. So that's why it's like really important that we're not letting our Pokemon die now. Because these are kind of going to be the ones that we need to really carry with us um, as time goes on. Because the only thing that like we can really pretty much do from there is by doing a lot of grinding. And that's not something I really am looking forward to doing. So that's why we got to make sure we're keeping these guys at a healthy level and not killing them. And uh, with Pokeball, probably... Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That... That is nice. That is nice. Now, we gotta go ahead and check its stats. We got... We got the... We got the better version of the two! Holy cow! Holy cow! I... I did not expect that at all despite what its appearance suggests it cares for others if it finds vulnerable if it if it finds vulnerable vulnerable weak pokemon it protectively brings them to into its water bottle see like when you look at this guy i mean this is kind of a good like analogy for human people uh, as a whole where don't judge someone by like the, the way they look i mean you really get to know their personality and you might be surprised how good of a person that they they really are where, I mean, with the Rakanid, you look at that and everyone should be intimidated by it. But, when you hear its bio and all the different things that it does to help weaker Pokemon, it's like, oh, well, that's just, that's just a love, lovable spider. That's all it is. That's, that's awesome. Good for him. Alright, so now we are figuring out what level this is. I mean, no way, I mean, it's not level 1, so I just have to hope that it's, um, it hasn't really exceeded its, uh, level. I want to keep it. I really want to keep it. But the also thing is, uh, so we, we have Golisopod, and I don't know if they're the same level. Level is 24. We can work with that. So it's Water Bug, and we have Water Bug. Okay, so they're pretty much counterpoints of each other. Where this guy, let's see, it's it's defense and attack. Where this guy is, it's it's actually its stats are pretty trash. Not gonna lie. Uh, defense is 59 at 24. But, I mean, I mean, this one's at 31, so it's got seven levels on it. Um, I don't know if we need to add him to the team right now, to be honest with you. I mean, basically, if we lose Golisopod, literally, this is the perfect switch to it. So, but as of right now, it's it's solid. It's, I'm happy we got it, but we just don't really, we don't really need it right now. Um, so we'll leave it into the box. We were going to move Gumi to the death. I can't even give you really a hero because you died the first time I ever used you. So you got that going for you. Um, yeah, and then Mudbray. I would like to bring up Mudbray a little bit more. But that means I'm going to have to put someone away. And I don't want to put any of these guys away. Like, to be honest, 30, 30 isn't strong enough anymore. We got to get our guys stronger. So I can't really stop our main guys to be more leveled off because I mean the further we are getting into these battles it's not it's not easy it's not easy like you it, it literally showed you right there that Raichu was no joke oh what's Lily doing uh, it's been a while since I last saw you around but you weren't supposed to meet with uh but weren't you supposed to meet with the press professor in Mally Garden oh okay I guess all right I guess she's just a roadblock basically so I guess we got to go ahead and find the professor. Let's go through here. Now we can try to... Uh, nope, we're not going to be able to make it through the grass. But, okay, so at least we'll try to figure out what type the Pokemon are. So maybe we can switch someone out and uh, give them a little bit of uh, training. So, I mean, we could just use Gyarados because we have the experience share going on anyways. So it's like, do we need to switch anyone? But let's just go ahead and use... Let's go for Aqua Tail. Let's see what that does. Yeah, and it does enough. Okay, so that's solid. So let's get everybody. There we go. Ivysaur got to get up there. Let's pod. Good. Keep going up. Yeah, because right now I'd say about level 30 is the standard. Where we got to get everyone level 30 and up. And from there we should be good. And I'm assuming we're probably going to have to do a lot of different battles around here. So this might just be the only thing we will be doing in today's episode. But we'll see. We'll see what, uh, how far we manage to get in it. So, uh, so we're going to go take on Preschooler Alley. Or Ailey, I don't A A I A I L E Y. I mean A no heck it's A Ailey Ailey. I mean you think of A I, I think of like Aiden, so A I L I mean I don't know what the difference would be as far as pronunciation goes, so Ailey. That's 
Interesting name. Never heard of that name before, actually. All right, go against a Cleffa. Cleffa, that's uh, part fairy, so can't use the dragon tail on it. And wouldn't really have a reason to do it anyway. There's no stab. There we go. I think our Cleffa is, what, two, two levels stronger than that? So now that kind of gives us an idea of what's going to happen if we use a Cleffa against something like a Gyarados, basically. So we just got to get that thing to evolve, to be honest. Where, I mean, Clefable, that won't be the worst Pokemon to have. I mean, it is a fairy type, so and we don't have any fairies on our team. But I don't... What was there, like, one Dragon Pokemon introduced in the game? And we... Yeah, it's Kamo. -Oh. And I'm trying to think of, like, anything else that we had to deal with. And as far as Dragon types go... I don't remember much, so I don't feel like dragons are really predominant, at least uh, as far as the uh, playthrough goes in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. But they did actually give uh, Kamo'o a little bit of life, because nobody used Kamo'o. That thing was not good, but that new Z-move, that might that might attract some players out there where they would want to go ahead and uh, use that. So I'm interested to see uh, if it makes its way back into competitive. So I guess we'll just have to wait and find out and see. But that is something that it has interested me. That's another thing. I like. I really hope they add more to the mechanics of Pokemon um, Ultra Sun and Moon where, I mean, the only really thing that we got so far was the Z-move of Rock Ruff. So we got the new Lycan Rock form. I don't know if we know the stats of it yet. But, I mean, so we have a new, um, whatever, Z-move for it. I don't know what the power of that is, so I think we'll probably try to figure out the stats of all that stuff later on. But I'm just trying to think of anything else. I think that's that's about it. I mean, I guess we have now Pikachu with the Z-move, but I don't know. Who knows how uh, good that guy's going to be in competitive. Um, what in the world is Secrets of the Pond Guard? Oh, okay, so it's nothing really important to talk to her. So yeah, I just I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I mean, we have n different with Necrozma forms, but it's a legendary Pokemon, so you can't even really use it in um, Ultra Sun and Moon. I thought, yeah, this this is literally Johto right here. You got the Ra Rage Candy Bar. Only place you can get that is in Johto, so they totally totally resemble that. I mean, Johto is basically Japan, China, either two. I guess you can. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know enough about the cultures to know the difference between Japan and China, so I won't be the one to like actually say which is which. But I mean, it gives me that kind of a vibe. Oh, what does it say? I heard this garden was aligned. Uh, ooh, I think this is where we can get the Johto starters. This is yeah. I, do we get them right here? Because that means another wonder trade. What is up, my man? Oh, Professor Kakui. Hey there, what's going on with you two? You guys are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Only something amazing, amazing. Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened up like right in front of us and there really are Ultra Beasts in there. Oh, uh, you got, you've got to tell Professor Burnett too. What? Woo, you got to see the Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? That is amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hate that why he says that. I don't get it at all. <laughs> Maybe Sunday we'll all be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. All right, your next trial is up on Mount Haukulane. Uh, you can catch the bus uh, to get there. Just head about, uh, about Route 10. So we got to go to just talk to Route, um, to the professor, just let him know about that. We don't get anything. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, did you know? Know what? Uh, there's an observatory up on Mount Hakulane. Uh, and did you know that it, uh, did you know what it is that they do at an observatory, right? Uh, hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. Oh, I think this is where we go against the electric one. This is where we go against Sophocles. That's it. We go against Sophocles. And so, um, we will have the Alolan Marowak to be able to, uh, help us out, because it still has two ground moves that it knows. Uh, can't talk to you. Like, is, can we go in this building here? I don't know if I see any doors. No, I don't, I don't think so. So I think we're just gonna... I, I swear, this is where you get the Johto starters. Right? Uh, wait, what's over here? I'm gonna walk through this. And it's just a building that I can't get into? That doesn't make any sense. What? Okay, well that's it's kind of pointless. Uh, where else can we go? Here, okay, I guess we can battle you. Um, while we battle this, I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, 
Jojo starters. A. Some and movement. Now we got Traveler. Traveler from Cancel or pretty much anywhere else. Alright, let's go fight. And. I don't know, we don't really have anything too crazy for it. Mm, yeah, we don't we still don't have anything for um normal types. Let's see how much uh, Aqua Tail does. It does does enough. Does enough. Cool. How to get Johto starters. Let's figure this out. Cause I don't remember if I got them back in the day. Alright, um No, we don't need to learn Sweet Scent. Who's trying to learn that now? Ivy Sword, you already try to learn it. Um. Oh, is it all through QR codes? The Island Scan will tell you what route you can find the Pokemon in. Oh, I thought they're given to you. Ah. Huh. Okay, I thought that. Um. Oh, we're definitely gonna switch into it's going to Merlin huh I guess that's just through uh, using a QR code I thought you could actually um, get them handed to you never mind I am I'm just kidding just kidding all right let's go ahead use uh, mm, bone meringue definitely bone meringue oh it's faster thunder shock I'll take a thunder shock yeah, that ain't bad. Nice. Disable that. You can't use that anymore. One. Two. And we are good. You know, Cursed Body ain't bad. It's really not that bad. I mean, Lightning Rod would be nice. Yep, someone's at the door. And probably UPS. Oh, God. There you go. You guys can probably still hear them a little bit, but they just need to drop off whatever they need to drop off, and we will call it. Oh my god. Okay. Still barking? Still barking. Nope. Are they gone? Alright, I think they're gone. <laughs> oh, that's dogs for you. And, well, I guess now that we we don't really have a reason to be uh, in here anymore, because we already caught the uh, one Pokemon we need, unless that there's something good back here. I guess I guess, I guess that's good. I guess. And then we have that one area to the left over here. Unless if that's just uh, if we go back out into the uh, pathway, but I don't know. I think we're pretty much going to be ready to uh, at least make our way up to uh, Sophocles, so... I think we're going to be good here. Nothing too crazy as far as things going on. I feel like this area is kind of pointless. I mean, they could have done a little bit more, I feel like, to make it more worthwhile to come here. But, I mean, I mean, it's a nice area, but I don't feel like it has any impact on the story or anything like that. So, yeah, we can just get out of here. We don't have, we don't have a reason to be here anymore. So, let's go ahead, and I think we can finally go left, right? Yes, we can. Awesome, would you mind if I asked you something? Oh, there's Nebby. Uh, you want to go to the ruins? Uh, let's just go to the ruins. All right, come come with. Come with. I want to take Nebby to visit Ulu ruins, uh, but they are located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask you that much of you. Right now, I'm planning on uh, to visit Mali Library. Okay. Uh, there's a book I want to look there. Uh, maybe you'd be even willing to help me. Uh, sure, I guess we'll go there. I'm pretty sure that is exactly where we go ahead and see Oak. And I still don't remember his uh, first name. Ooh, Professor, and there he is. What's his name? Uh, well, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex of yours? Uh, never better. And well, hello there, uh, Samson. So we have Samuel, and then we have Sam's. I knew it was something. I knew it was like something with Sam. Uh, I'm a Pokemon researcher, and and I'm looking into the original variants found around here. And you must be Austin, huh? Yankakui mentioned me to, or mentioned you to me. Rotom, you sh 
you be sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, all right? Uh, who do you think you're talking to? Of course I'm doing that. And you, Austin, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young, uh, the young fellow from Kalos who invented, or who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. Who made that Pokedex? Huh. Okay, so we'll go to the, uh, Black Brick Road. Who made it in Kalos? Was it Sycamore? I do not remember at all. Alright, where's the, uh, Black Road? Oh, we just follow the shapes, basically. All the way right there. That was pretty easy. And they have the, uh, flag on the bottom, so we can just go ahead and follow that. So we're good there. Okay, so I'm sorry I ended up getting you lost again. Honestly, I am so tired of you, Lily. I really hope you have a 100% different personality in this game. You're just, you're, she's straight up annoying. I don't, I don't really see there's anything to like about the character. I, like, I really don't like her at all. Uh, Austin, been a while, friend. Looks like your island channel is coming along fairly. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So Austin, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale, Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um, studying for Tapu's Ruins for various reasons of my own. Oh, that seems like a fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you where the way. Uh, my Mudsdale here is as sturdy as it can, as all, as all get out. As sturdy as all get out. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, thank you for uh, your offer. All right, does that mean we have uh, Mudsdale we get to use now? Because I think we have, who do we have? Yeah, I don't think we have Mudsdale. Oh. Nope, still no Mudsdale yet. Alright, shall we check out the Molly Library first, though, since we're here? Sure, let's go ahead and do that. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Okay. Let's go follow her upstairs. Could we could have just kept that cutscene going where we'd follow her, but I guess we gotta go do that. Oh, it's just kind of annoying, just those little cutscenes. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to check it out the library. Oh, we have the, uh, is, is, I don't know, who do we go against next? Is it her, or is it Sophocles? Hmm, I don't know. I don't even know your name. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, of course. Well, it's tilted the the light of Alola. I'll just um I'll read it out loud, shall I? Ooh, we get a little bit of a story time. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. Oh <laughs> excuse me, that wasn't part of the book. <laughs> a single beast appeared from in it. It was named the beast that's called the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it. The beast that stole all heaven's light, the island gar guardians, fought against it, but in the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pal, ooh, you know I get closer, I think that'll sound good, cast its pal on the line of the kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all just such finished things? Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union, they brought new life, a fragile hire in Alola born. That guardian, the island guardian, would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lulana with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair, even after mute. Does that sound, that sound like more like a poem, if anything, I'm getting out of that. So it looked like in, in moon version, uh, Sogaleo bows down to uh, Lunala, if that's what I got out of it. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. Uh, what? I mean, yes it is, but, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I, ha I had to have all my dad's books moved there, so... Well, who's your dad, then? Ooh, oh, wait, no, I think, doesn't, his, doesn't her dad, like, is, like, part owner of the golf course, I think? Uh, well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. 
I think I'll stay here, but I know uh, why you've come to Ula Ula. You're going, uh, you'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Austin? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus in Route 10. Okay, so I guess we'll be going to Route 10 to uh, go to Sophocles first. And I th I'm pretty sure uh, the other oak is in here somewhere. I don't think we need have a reason to talk to any of these people because they don't give us anything. And I mean, let's see if we we can read books. Oh, okay, so we can read some stuff. Legendary Pokemon and the Tampu, a great and terrible battle waged between the Tapu and the Legendary Pokemon, but neither side could claim victory over the other. Other fightings themselves equals. The Legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown providence. That's kind of cool. The guardian deities of the islands, the Tapu regularly keep themselves close tight in their shells as they absorb nature's energy. After many long years of absorbing such energy, their shells become hard and sturdy. The Tapu and the island kahunas, the Tapu choose the kahunas of their islands and entrust them with special sparkling stones. What reasoning they have to make such choice, however, is not apparent to observers. Uh, the Guardians, the Ancient Kings. In ancient times, ta the Tapu served as the leaders of the armies of each island's king, but if they used their Z power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands. Because of this, the Tapu came to no longer lend their aid in the wars of men. Oh, okay. A right. little, little interesting. Got a nice little explanation on the Tapus a little bit more. But I know Oak is in here. Where is he? There he is. All right, let's see if he gives us any information. Hola, young Austin. Or Alola, young Austin. <laughs> Since you're out and about exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about the regional variants, don't you? I do. I do, I do, I do. And I wish there were more of them. Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional variants. They arise when the influences of a particular region cause a Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have caught one of the local Persians, the local re uh, variants, I would quite like to see it. Mm, we do not have the Persian because they are ugly as fooge. So I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and uh, move on to Sophocles. So we're what, 26, 20, almost 27 minutes in the episode. So hopefully we can try to get there in time. So let's see if there is, oh wait, uh, we gotta go the other way, right? Because, eh, well, we could do a we could do a wonder trade right here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're in a new area. Let's take advantage of it. So we going to get we got Magnemite. All right, nothing, nothing too special that we'll be handing over to uh, the other trainer. Intimidated against there. Too bad special. Cause that does not matter one bit. Uh, let's go ahead. Where's that quick ball at? We gotta keep them quick balls coming. I love these things. They're so great. This is the greatest thing ever. This literally is the greatest thing ever. Oh man, I love this. I love this ball. This is the best ball in the history of balls. Better than my balls. Yep, I said it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and add it to the Pokedex. Mm, add it, add it, add it. Let's see if there's actually an interesting Pokedex entry for it. Uh, it sends out electromagnetic magnetic waves which let it float through the air. Touching it while it's eating electricity will give you a full body shot. How does it eat? Just absorbs it? Is it technically eating? Uh, let's just go send to the box. And we're good there. And now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and do a wonder trade. And honestly, for Electro-type, we have... Ooh, but we gotta go against Vicavolt, which is probably part flying, I think. So ground is not gonna do much. We need rock, so Minior actually will be coming back to the team. Because, yeah, actually, I'm gonna go check that right now. So, let's go to... Where is it? Uh, Vicavolt. So, Vicavolt is... Okay, so it's Bug Electric, and its ability is Levitate, so we won't be able to use um, Alola Marowak pretty much at all. So we got to make sure we can at least try to figure out a better way to go about this. So actually, we still can't because it's part Bug. So we'll be able to go ahead and still use him with the Fire move that we have. And... Alright, so next thing we gotta check is the Pokemon that it can uh, spawn out for when it calls for a friend. So, I gotta go to Sun and Moon. 
Let's go to the trials. And where's the next one? Okay, so okay, it's SOS partner is just charge bug, which is also bug. So I mean, fire, fire will be good. Rock will be good. And I think we're pretty much good from there. We don't really need to do anything else. So, all right. So let's see what we get out of here. I mean, I'll take. I'll. I'll we don't. We don't need any more fire. We're set with fire. I still would like an ice though. What are we getting? Ooh, a Shinx. So we got electric. So it's. I don't know, it could be a better version of Pikachu eventually, but I don't know how much I'm going to prioritize uh, training it or anything like that. Because, well, we haven't taken on... I don't know, is there... There's not. There's no flying... Um, there's no flying trials. I mean, we actually only have... We have this trial, we have the uh, ghost trial, and then we have the dragon trial, and that is it. So we're getting close to being done with all of them, so... Let's go ahead and we'll get out of here. Uh, Shinx, I don't know. I'm not even going to go back and check its level. I don't, I don't really need to. I mean, we're pretty much set for now. I mean, since we're over here, let's just go. We'll, we'll go We'll go against this guy. And we'll just kind of figure out what's going to be going on over here. I don't know if this is going to be like the bus that we get to go to. That'll take us up or whatever. Because I think we can take... I think we can go downwards. I don't know if we can go up. I think that might be it. Ooh, a Trubius, the trash Pokemon, like the literal trash Pokemon. You can use it as a adjective because it's it, it it's trash, it's trash. But you can always use that now because it it, it it's it's trash bag. <laughs> uh, let's go and use its poison, and let's just use let's use Aqua Tail on it. As Gyarados, uh, actually we could probably use a different lead right now because Gyarados is not really going to be any help with us for uh, this upcoming trial. So we could probably give someone else a little bit more light. And you got two Trubbish. You are literally, you are a waste of a trainer. You are a complete waste of a trainer. And I, I'm not, I don't regret saying it. I've, I've yet to find one person that actually likes Trubbish or Garboder. I mean, that's like one of the reasons, like, that's kind of like the epitome of like, this is what Gen 5 did us. This is what they gave us. They gave us a Pokemon that is trash. They gave us ice cream po ice cream cone Pokemon. They've given us kind of repeat Pokemon of the Gen 1, but that just weren't as good designs. That's like, ugh, it was just, it was a mess. It was a complete mess. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, wow, you can move fast. You're, you're a quick mover. Oh, hello, uh. Uh, Alola, did you know that the that Alolan Grimer are in fact not native to the region at all, but instead are what we would call a naturalized Pokemon? There is not so much sludge and pollution for Grimer to feed on Alola, though they uh, have grown to feed on garbage instead. They do not give off a foul stench thanks to the way uh, they contain any poisons within their bodies, but their crystals are terribly poisonous. Here, I've been waiting to give this to you. What do we get? A friend ball. Okay. I think, is it a friend, what, what's, a, what's a friend ball for? Hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex for Rotom's sake as well. Okay, that was kind of interesting. Let's see, oh, there is something back here. X speed and, oh no, can we go in this building right here? No. Nope, can we talk to you? What are you good for? Hey, listen, listen, here, you got, uh, okay. Oh god. Uh, battle style. Look, I'm your elder here. I'm asking you a favor. You can't say no. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Now I've got me my successor. Let me get started straight away with the lesson for my favorite pupil. All you have to do is copy me and do what I do. Okay. The pose is. Um. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. So we have a different style to use. Oh, what's going on over here? All right, say we're about done, yeah? Uh, let's call it a day and get home. Uh, grime. Uh, hey, what are you doing out here, kid? This is a restricted area. We're working here. Uh oh, what are we doing, Bal? Serious boy, aren't you a Maliv native? Uh, we're, we are famous for our hospitality, and kids need to explore and see the world. How else are they going to learn? I swear. Oh, yes, yes, father, I mean, sir. <laughs> okay, that guy got... 
Don't want to be talking to him later. Uh, if that's what you really want, then I will tell this random trespasser about what it is we do here. This is what we take care of uh, all the garbage produced in the Lola region, young man. We janitors work together with our Pokemon toward this goal, in fact. The garbage that we human workers gather is consumed by Muck and Grimer. This is the one here. Our president here beside me has a Muck that can eat 10 tons of rubbish in a single day. That's a, that's a lot of rubbish. <laughs> Uh, though me and Grimer are here are still just temporary contract workers. But isn't that the island challenge element you have there? Uh, yeah. Uh, I took the trials on myself when I was a kid, though. It was a bit too much for me, so I actually ended up giving it a, giving it up right away. So, are we going to get something? My mugs had a bit too much to eat today. How about you uh, join me in battle and provide it with a bit of exercise, the old digestion? Yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, so we got to go against a muck, a lower muck. One Pokemon? Two? Just one Pokemon. So, we don't have anything. Ooh, a Psychic, actually. That, that would be good to go against now. So, let's just go ahead. We'll go straight for the um, Hydro Vortex. Mm, go for the Z Power, Aqua Tail. I actually kind of want to check to see if we lose PP if we use the Z Move. I don't think I've ever paid attention to that. Oh no. Alright, Gyarados surrounds itself with a Z power. It unleashed. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's so strong. So strong. Hydro. Hydro Vortex. That takes quite a few seconds to be able to use the move. I mean, it looks cool. It, it, it does look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, when I first saw all these Z moves, like, oh my god, these are the coolest things ever. But then when you see it a hundred times, like, it, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Gyarados grew to level 33. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, move the move. Learn move Scary Face. Nah, we'll keep old moves. We gotta get a different lead. We gotta get our. Uh, actually, I kind of want the uh, Alola Marowak to be our lead right now. Uh, Pikachu grew to level 33. Level 22 is good. Faint attack for. Who? Faint attack. Um, nah. Nah. Yeah, we're good. We'll keep all moves. Yeah, since I guess we don't really have to go against any poison. Good as far as psychic goes. I don't know uh, if the elite four though is poison. I'd have to double check that. And not too shappy. Uh, just like I'd figured, you've got something in you, kid. Amazing. You even beat my my fa I mean my boss's muck. I'm always gonna say my father. <laughs> what you're uh, what you're doing standing there like a lump? You're next, you looseless dullard. Oh what? Me, me and grammar. So we're gonna go against a grammar. So we're gonna start out going against a muck, and then we're gonna go against a grammar. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so I guess we're going to go against a Grimer now. Um, Alright. I mean... Wouldn't you want the sun to go against the uh, the trainer first? I mean, it only makes sense to me. <laughs> so I guess we're going to be going against a Grimer now. Yeah, let's see if what, le what level it is. It's got to be weaker then, right? Oh no! This level's stronger! That doesn't make any sense. And, oh no, so we do lose um, PP every, oh no, 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 just kidding. Okay, let's hope it just, well, I don't know. Well, okay, so we do need to use the Z move to at least make life a little bit easier. Did you knock off the, uh, oh, come on. Ugh, that's annoying. Uh, that's annoying. All right, let's just go finish it up with the Aqua Tail, and we'll go heal up, and I think the next episode we'll make our way up to the top of the mountain to be able to take on Sophocles. So I think this is probably going to be where we're going to end up the, end up finishing the battle. I don't think we need to even heal this guy up, because the Pokemon Center is not too far away. So is this it? This long dialogue of conversations, am I going to get anything out of this? Uh, blast it all. You, I'm sorry, Father. I'm just a weakling. Oh, God. Now we... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel, oh, you're hired. F f father? I, I'm, not, I'm not your father, I'm your boss. And I'm saying that you're hired, boy. From this day forth, I'm making you the head of the plant. And I won't hear any another word of it. Uh, I've complained about it to you. W what? You saw, that, you saw that this trainer was stronger than you, or even me. And still, you and your Grimer went, ag went, went up against him with everything that you had in you. That's what I've always wanted to see from you. That kind of persistence and drive. And that's why you and Grimer, that's why you're going to take over for me. Uh, th thank you, sir. Th Father, sir. I mean, former president, sir. <laughs> and do I get anything out of this? Sorry. Um, eh? A twist? Really? 
This is what I got after all that dialogue. I got a twisted spoon. Oh my goodness. What a waste of time. Oh, now they just teleport to different spots. I thought he'd maybe have an Alolan Muck or something. Guess not. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is it that we are going to be doing for today. Let's grab this Pokeball over here. And it's an antidote. I guess that, that makes sense for being at a plant area. And yeah, looks like that is going to be it for today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, at the beginning of next episode, we'll be all healed up and ready to take on that mountain. So have a good one, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey trainers, Ash Ketchum here to thank you for watching the Poke Resort. Become a Pokemon Master by subscribing to Austin's channel. Don't forget to see his other recent videos so you can watch them all. Pikachu and I have surfing lessons with Austin's Alolan Raichu. So, we'll catch you later. Ha <laughs> ha!